My name is Burke Hedges, author of the best-selling book, The Parable of the Pipeline. I open my book with a story about Pablo and Bruno, who take two very different paths in their quest for financial independence. What you're about to see is the delightful animated story of their adventure. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the life-changing lessons in The Parable of the Pipeline. Far away, in a small village, near a beautiful valley, lived two friends, Pablo and Bruno. They were both young and dreamed of a better life for themselves. They'd often discuss their dreams about how they would become the most successful men in the village. They weren't afraid of hard work and they searched for opportunities to help realize their goals and achieve their dreams. One day, an opportunity presented itself. The mayor of the village decided to hire two people to bring water from a spring up on the mountain, across the valley, back down to the village. They were to be paid based on the amount of water delivered to the village. Bruno and Pablo enthusiastically got to work. Every day, from morning till evening, they carried buckets to and from the spring. They worked hard carrying water to the village. In the evening, they'd return home with their day's wages. Bruno was satisfied with his work and the money he earned. He was sure that with this work he could achieve his dreams. Bruno thought that to increase his wages he could use bigger buckets to bring more water each trip. He believed with a larger income he would soon be able to buy a cow and the house that he dreamed about. Now Pablo was not satisfied. At the end of the day, his back and hands ached and he was exhausted. He was looking for an easier way to earn more. One day an idea occurred to Pablo. He imagined building a pipeline to deliver the water from the mountain spring to the village. With this pipeline, he could get more water to the village without carrying buckets back and forth from the spring to the village. Soon, he got very excited about his idea and began to plan. Pablo, of course, shared his idea with his friend Bruno and asked him to join with him to work on and help build the pipeline. Bruno thought the idea was crazy. All Bruno could think about was what his money could buy today and how to get it quicker. He felt that building a pipeline would slow him down and delay him in achieving his goals. Instead, Bruno got bigger buckets and went more often back and forth fetching water. He was sure that with this method he could make more money. Pablo decided to build the pipeline on his own. He understood that it would not be easy to build and it would take time to complete the pipeline. Pablo knew that it could take several years to finish but he set his mind on his goal. Every day he worked and carried water like before. But on weekends and during his spare time, he worked hard to dig in the rocky soil and build his pipeline. In the first month, there was little to show for his work. Bruno and the villagers laughed and teased him. They called him Pablo the Pipeline Man. 
During this time, Bruno's income doubled. He already bought a cow and a bigger house. His lifestyle changed. He now spent time after work in the bar, enjoying his hard-earned wages from delivering water. What Bruno didn't realize was that his body was starting to stoop from carrying heavy buckets every day. His face looked worn and his body tired. Soon, he began to carry less and less water due to the wear and tear on his body. Month after month, Pablo worked. Soon a year passed, and then a second year. Finally, Pablo finished his pipeline. He now used his pipeline to deliver water to the village instead of carrying buckets. Pablo was now earning more money than ever before. The water continued flowing to the village while Pablo wasn't working. While he slept and ate, the water flowed. Pablo was happy and proud of his insight, persistence, and hard work. Now his income flowed as long as the water flowed through his pipeline. The story of Bruno and Pablo is a reflection of life. Their jobs symbolize what most people do to earn money. Bruno gets his money using buckets. He goes back and forth, carrying his buckets from the spring to the village in exchange for money. To increase his income, he either has to go more frequently to the spring or to use larger buckets. It's common in real life to increase our income by working harder. For example, working overtime or getting a second job. We also increase the size of our buckets by accepting a higher paying position, which often includes spending more time on the job. Most of us exchange time for money like Bruno. We know that every person has only 24 hours in the day and that it's not possible to use all our time to work. The most difficult time comes when we can no longer exchange time for money due to age, health or other reasons. Then our income stops. Now let's review what Pablo did. Very wisely Pablo did not exchange all of his time for a limited income, but he used some of his time to build a pipeline. He knew that the pipeline would bring ongoing income as long as the water flowed. An ongoing income that multiplied the time he worked each day. Pablo knew that someday, maybe because of age or health, he would no longer be able to exchange his available time for money. Pablo knew that if he could make his idea of a pipeline work, then he only has to do the hard work of building the pipeline. After the pipeline was completed, Pablo was able to monitor and maintain the flow of water to ensure that his income will continue. Pablo has shown us that to earn an income we don't always have to directly exchange time for money. There really are better ways. How about you? Are you still like Bruno who directly exchanges time for money? Or do you want to be like Pablo, building and maintaining a pipeline for ongoing income? If you are interested in the idea of building your own pipeline, contact the person who lent you this presentation. You can start building your pipeline today.